Hi folks, my name is Greg Turner, the radiology coach. My job is to demystify the enigmatic world of x-rays. Today I want to talk to you about x-rays and how they are used to produce an x-ray image. Most individuals when getting x-rays in a medical setting are oblivious to the fact that they are about to get blasted with waves that actually pass through their body. A large percentage of Americans have had or will have x-rays in their lifetime. The process seems quite routine, simple, and harmless. But when thoroughly explained, this application of radiation may cause some to pause. X-rays are part of the electromagnetic spectrum. This spectrum also includes forms of light, ultraviolet rays, gamma rays, radio waves, and microwaves. Each of these forms of light have their own set of characteristics that vary. One characteristic that separates x-rays from the others is its profound ability to penetrate matter. The x-rays traverse through wood, glass, cloth, aluminum, and human tissues, to name a few. To fully understand how this occurs, one must first consider how small x-ray photons actually are. Rather than quantify in obscure measurements the size of these minuscule waves, it's simply easier to contrast them by their atomic interactions. You see, an X-ray photon is so small that it literally collides with atoms at a micro level. One individual photon can strike an atom and get either absorbed or deflected by the atom. To further put this into context, X-rays are interacting with air molecules the second that they leave an X-ray camera. This explains why the X-rays are exponentially weaker by the time they reach the patient. And once they do reach the patient, many photons will actually pass through the patient without ever interacting with a single atom. It is unfathomable how tiny these photons can be. And even more daunting is the idea of not one x-ray photon being applied during an x-ray, but literally trillions of them. The end result is x-ray photons interacting on an atomic level, which promulgates molecular interactions and as a domino effect manifests in cellular and tissue structures. When a person is receiving x-rays, he is receiving a barrage of invisible waves that either will get absorbed, get deflected, or completely pass through the person. This is why research organizations, the federal government, and regulatory agencies have programs in place for radiation control. Medical x-rays cannot be administered to a patient without a physician's order. As pharmaceuticals alter the molecular makeup in humans, so do x-rays. Both have benign effects, but both also have a great potential to do harm if applied inappropriately. And just like Spider-Man in the movies, x-ray operators must embrace that with great power comes great responsibility. Protecting and educating patients will curb fears and concerns and will also allow the diagnostic process to continue. That concludes this segment. If you like this presentation, please select the subscribe button below this video. You can also tap the bell next to it so that we'll notify you when other great videos have posted. My name is Greg Turner, and I'm the Radiology Coach. And remember, mark my word and mark your films.